This is what you're dealing with with Draymond. Skip, Draymond sees himself as the gatekeeper for the, for the uh, Golden State Warriors. So if he sees someone getting out of line, if he sees someone that's not adhering to the culture, someone starts to feel, maybe Jordan Poole starts to feeling good about himself. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, say, well, you know, A, it's Steph, Clay, and me yeah. now. And Draymond said, hold on, wait a minute, young fella. This is the way it works around here. And this is the way it's always going to work around here as long as I'm around here. And so, I, you know, from what I've been reading, they kind of had a little contentious relationship a little bit. You know, I mean, uh, I don't think it's a Michigan-Michigan State thing. I think it has more to do with maybe Jordan, Pe Jordan Poole starting to feel good about himself. He's about to come into a large sum of money, and he's deservedly so he's earned that. Agreed. And maybe he's not a, being the team player or the player that Draymond thinks that's conducive for them to continue to flourish and win championships. And so Jerry Ma probably stepped to him and says, okay, young fellow, what's going on? What, what's, what's on your mind? What's on your heart? Why are you behaving in a manner that, that, that's not warrior basketball? Mm -hmm. So that's how Draymond views himself. Draymond is the heartbeat. He's not the best player. He's never been the best player. And he's never going to be the best player. But he provides something that nobody else can provide. Skip, he can guard Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid. He'll jump out there guard KD. He'll jump out guard Chris Paul. He provides them with something that no other player has been able to provide for them. And so with that being said, he's the pulse. He's the heartbeat. Not the best player, but he understands his role. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, they love him. He understands. He, there's something that dribble handoff that he has with Steph, with Clay, and then sometimes he'll fake the handoff and he'll go drive it to the basket. He'll lay it up and dunk it himself. So, Skip, I think this is what's at play here. Um, and sometimes... It, you, Draymond is like medicine. You don't really like this kid, but you know it. But it makes you feel better. Dre, I, I'm not so sure that the Warriors really like all the antics that come along with Draymond Skip, but they understand this is a necessary evil and it's a part of who he is. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he goes over the line. He knows that. He knows he goes over the line. I think he got uh, uh, ejected. Uh, uh, was it? Was it? Uh, he came close to getting ejected in the Boston series. He did get ejected, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, Memphis. Memphis well, you series. remember he had the like A B style <laughs> meltdown walk off, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Skip, I, I just think the thing is, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Um, 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 Draymond sees himself as, like I said, he's the gatekeeper. All th this is the this is the way we do things here, Skip. You know, you got somebody like, okay. This is the way we do things. This is the way it flows. And if somebody tries to get outside of that, Skip, you, like, you address it. And I'm not saying this is the right way to address it. Maybe he could have talked to Jordan Poole. Maybe he did have these conversations with Jordan Poole. And Jordan Poole's like, bro, I'm a grown man. I'm about to get this 130 mil, this four-year extension. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Draymond said, watch this. I close. Although, to your last <laughs> point... I thought the key line in the Woj report was Jordan Poole was not hurt by the punch. Uh. That's the Draymond I know. <laughs> I believe he is more of an instigator than a participator in fights. Mm -hmm. I, I was shocked that he was that he allegedly threw at all because he is he is more instigator, agitator than finisher in a fight. I, I haven't seen him fight. I know they strongly discourage it, but he never comes across, and I, I get you, like, he he is the gatekeeper, but he's not really the enforcer type. Right. We're, we're you, not... you hope, it, Skip, you hope it doesn't get to that point. Yeah. You understand, Skip, that's kind of what I was in Denver. Look, okay, guys, rookie, you come in, you singing. You got to bring donuts. You got to bring sandwiches. Right. This has been in place, Skip. Before you got here, it's going to be in place before you leave. You just, uh, look, it's not you. You make it seem like you're the only one that's going to have to do this. You're the only one. So, Skip, you try to, you don't want it to get to a fight, but you encourage, you're going to do this or consequences and repercussions going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it sounds like they have had an ongoing discussion right. every practice, every minute, yeah. where they're just constantly into it. And it sounds like Jordan Poole is the one fairly new warrior who gives it right back to him. Right. In the past, everybody paid their hom homage right. and respect. They, yeah. they just didn't engage. Right. They didn't return fire. Right. And now Jordan Poole's right back in his yeah. face until Draymond just couldn't take it anymore. And I guess he swung on it. Right. But the point is, 
Is there some threat to his domain? He was considered at least the third member of the big three. Right. Is, is he now yeah, being threatened yeah, by the Poole. fact, wait a second, maybe Jordan Poole is going to be the third member of the big three. <laughs> and remember, Draymond in this league has overachieved. Yeah. I'm going to remind everybody, he stayed at Michigan State oh. all four years. Mm -hmm. All four years. Yeah. When does that happen? Right. All four years you stayed there mm -hmm. and never won a champ, never led them to a champ. They got to the championship game when he was a freshman and lost to your, your Tar Heels. Heels. Yeah. But the point is, Jordan Poole has star quality. He has right. star power. Right. There are nights when Jordan Poole gets it going where I say, but uh -oh. that's, that's right up there with Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. when, when he gets cooking, yes. he can flat out score it yeah, can put from it anywhere, anytime, mm -hmm. any way, right. shape, or form. He can score the basketball. Remember, Skip, the first half of the year last year, uh, Clay didn't play. It was pool. It was a pool party. It was a pool party, and he kept them afloat <laughs> in the pool, right? <laughs> and and I remind everybody here here are Draymond's career numbers: <laughs> nine points, seven rebounds, five assists. Not bad. Not. bad. Star, right. obviously. He's made four all-star teams in 10 years, so he hasn't even made half the years in the right. all-star team. He had one chunk where they were in the finals in those years right. when he was all-star, all-star, all-star. Right. But before that, he was three years without all-star. And after the, the finals run, three years without all-star right. until last right. year when they won Skip, it all. He, but he, he's so much more than numbers. I mean, you, you can't quantify what he does because if you just look at the numbers, you're like, Draymond, why are you doing all this? He's so much more than what the number says it. that he, he is. He has been guts and glue for that team yeah. from the start, and especially it did hurt them when LeBron stole that ring in 2016. It is not saying that! And, but it was classic Draymond because he instigates, he instigates, he gets into it with LeBron, he screams out the B word at him, you're a B, and everybody could hear it in the first three rows, including Kiki Vandway, who happened to be the Minister of Justice at that point for the <laughs> NBA. And then... He goes down to the other end and gets all tangled up and, and winds up kicking at LeBron's midsection. We've known, the, the, again, that's what I know him for, not throwing punches on the court. Right. He'll keep, kick people below the belt. <laughs> you got okay. Steven Adams. Okay, he got Steven <laughs> Adams that same year. And I think Kiki finally said, okay, that's just enough. Right. Yeah. Well, I'd never, I, I, I couldn't fathom in my wildest dreams, you would suspend a key player for a game of the NBA Finals. Right. Draymond Green got himself suspended for game five, five of the NBA Finals mm -hmm. back at Oracle, yeah. and you know the rest of the story. History happened. Right. Because they were up three to right. one, and then they were down four to three. You have to pick and choose your battle. Because sometimes guys will, will step to you, and they'll, they, hey, they're going to test you now. Okay. And if you ain't ready to do this, just, hey. But seemed like Draymond was, Draymond was ready to do this. Skip, I met Draymond a couple of times, and I, you know, I like him. I understand, I understand what he is and his role that he plays for the Warriors. Uh, but... For me, long term, I don't think it's going to have any 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 significant damage. That all of a sudden they, he's not going to pass Poole the ball. Poole's not going to do play his role. Poole is going to be Jordan Poole. They had an issue. Hopefully, it's resolved. I don't know. You know, you hear and say they they're discussing internal discipline with Draymond. I don't know where that goes. We've seen them do internal discipline before when they had the KD incident. So maybe it's something along those lines. What you going to suspend him in a preseason game? What the hell is that going to do? Maybe you find him a chunk of money. Maybe you find him, you know, a hundred thousand. I don't know how much. What's the max you can find a player, Skip? A, a team can find a player, but maybe they go to that number and says, "Okay, Draymond, come on now. I'm, I mean, enough is enough. We we get what you're trying to do, and we appreciate your services, but uh, I, we don't want you fighting and hitting our own, hitting our player." Okay, he has a history of being <laughs> hot headed. I, I'll never forget that night. That great Saturday night game at Oklahoma City when it was KD and Westbrook. Yeah. And Steph was going crazy and finally took the game over down right. the stretch. Mm -hmm. But at halftime, it was reported on, I believe it was on ABC. Yeah. That His Draymond people. just lost it at yeah. halftime and was screaming because nobody w would let him shoot. They, they wouldn't pass in the ball. You, you want me not to play in the right. second half? So he went crazy. He's had these these bouts of, of tantrum throwing where he just loses it and goes crazy. I, I th This is my personal opinion. I think he's basically a big bag of wind in the end. That's what he is because Steve Kerr just lets the wind just sort of blow right. out of him, and then they go on right. about their business. There's going to come a point as he comes up for a contract because this is right. the last year he has an option for another year, but as far as becoming a free agent, if he wants his money – 
he's going to push the envelope to become a little more trouble than he's right. worth. Yeah. He's 32 going on 33 in March. Right. At some point, the Warriors, is the, the front office, is going to sit back and say, you know what, especially if you have any more practice kind of incidents that are disruptive, maybe maybe you're just not worth the trouble. Well, the, well, the Warriors paid $170 million in luxury tax last season. The question for the, the answer for me, and I don't think this is I think this is a, a no brainer for everyone. Draymond is more valuable to the Warriors than anywhere else in the league. I would agree. He's with not that. like a, a Kevin Durant or Joel Embiid or one of these top tier guys He's that not. can go anywhere and still be that. He's most valuable. He fits for him. them. Yes, yes, yes. But on the on the open market, does any is no, anybody no, no. gonna jump? But what what's 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 his skip? What's his value to the Warriors? That's that's my thinking. If I'm Draymond. What's my value? Now, he, uh, I think he has one more year at $27 million player option, I think, for $27 million. Now, do I want to say, man, I'm worth this. I want a max deal. I want $180 million, $200 million. Or do I take, I don't know, whatever, whatever he can get. So we can do another three, four years, three years. Let's just say three years plus a player option at, say, $30 million. Another $100 million deal, three years, $100 million with a player option, yep. make it 120 something like that, Skip. Mm -hmm. Because for me, Draymond, you're in the best situation. You have Steph, Clay, uh, the, 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 that environment that you've helped build in Golden State, your value, your max value. I'm not saying he won't get money elsewhere, Skip, but I don't believe he'll have the impact elsewhere yep. that he has in Golden State. And what is that worth? What is the, the way they treat you, the, uh, the, what you've built, that foundation that you've helped foster in Golden State, what's that worth to you? Is making four, five, six, eight million dollars a little more somewhere else, not having the impact, is that worth more than winning championships, contending for championships? That's right. what he's going to have to weigh, I believe. I'm going to remind you, the last four years in a row, he's been sub 30% from three. Well, Last you, year, he was 29.6. That's, that's Wes Brookian. Draymond's okay? not a three-point okay? shooter. But, but they dare him to shoot, yeah. and sometimes he looks around like, should I, should I? But, and he tries it, right? But he got, he got to shoot his skip. Okay. he got to shoot it. I'm going to remind you, last year from the free throw line, he was a career-worst 66%. That's Wes Brookian. Yes. It's hard to overcome that. You, you you push too far, they say, well, gee, you know, yeah. you do a lot of good things for us. You pick, you roll, you do all those things. Remember. Production. <laughs> I know. I got it. I got it. That's where we're heading.